Russian President Vladimir Putin on Monday held his first speech since his landslide presidential election victory. Marking the 10th anniversary of the annexation of Crimea, he called the occupied territory of Ukraine return territory and vowed to move forward together. However, the elections received criticism from the international community, with some calling the result illegal. Our Lee Seung-jae has more. In a landslide victory, Russian President Vladimir Putin won his fifth term in office. Taking over 87 percent of the votes, the election victory solidifies Putin's power even further, allowing him to stay in office until at least 2030. Marking the 10th anniversary of the annexation of Crimea, Putin delivered his first speech since his election victory, where he called the occupied territory of Ukraine returned territory. He also noted the four occupied territories of Ukraine that took part in the recent presidential elections. Regarding Novorossiya and Donbass, people who lived there during the Russian spring expressed their will to return to their family as well. Their way to the homeland was much more grave and tragic, but in the end we did it. It is a big event in the history of our country. However, the Russian presidential election was met with heavy condemnation by the international community. White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said given the fact that Putin has imprisoned his political opponents and prevented others from running against him, this election was clearly neither free nor fair. Joseph Borrell, the European Union's high representative for foreign affairs and security, criticized the result, describing the election as being based on repression and intimidation. The German foreign ministry pointed out through its social media X that Russia's fake election was neither free nor fair. Most vocal was Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, who slammed Russia for pretending to hold an election. There were also claims that the election was illegal, citing issues such as the fact that transparent ballot boxes were used and that voting was conducted in four occupied territories in Ukraine. China, India and North Korea offered congratulations. Meanwhile, European Union foreign ministers on Monday agreed to impose sanctions on people and organizations responsible for the death of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. Foreign policy chief Joseph Burrell said that about 30 individuals and entities will be sanctioned. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.